Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Hyundai Tucson N-Line. This is the full option version uh, and I have here with me the 1.6 liter TGDI with 180 horsepower, 265 Newton meters. And in this video, I will drive it. We will make the test drive and I will give you the feedback uh, in the video. And at the end of the video, we will make a conclusion on how we should drive this new Hyundai N-Line. I know this is one of the best, in my opinion, SUV, best price quality that you can get it in 2021 out of an SUV car in this class. And it's, it's phenomenal. Also, I did the full review with it, interior, exterior. If you want to see that video, uh, check out on my channel. It's probably already there. If it's not already there, just click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come out. Also, in the beginning, I will give you the feedback, the technical details of the car, and then uh, we will go and we will drive the car. By the way, if you're new on my channel, just click the subscribe button to see all the new video that will come on my channel, the new cars and all that. Uh, information from auto industry by the way i'm here in switzerland at auto starter in uh, langenthal i will leave the link in the description also to the car if you want to uh, buy it if you want to check out the technical data or information about the car so now guys let's go inside let me give you the technical data and then we will go forward with the car by the way of course the car come with keyless entrance you can lock and unlock the car electronic folding mirrors and all kind of features like that but I don't want to go too much into detail right now in this video it's all about driving but you can see the other video the review video here is the key by the way the same key as on the normal version it's it's simple and nice light uh, and modern let me give you the information so as I said before I have with me the Hyundai Tucson 1.6 liter TGDI this is the N-line version of course looks back that mean is the full option uh, kind of the vertex version here in switzerland and then four wheel drive is the four wheel drive by the way version and it's the milled hybrid so it comes with that 48 volts battery with 0.44 kilowatt hour battery that help the system help the consumption help the the co2 to be under the legal limits and that's great also let me go forward 180 horsepower 265 newton meter four cylinders in line it comes with a transmission seven speed automatic transmission dct combined with this shift by wire transmission this is one of my favorite transmission uh, in a car because you have all those buttons it's so simple to change the gears go to reverse neutral drive and parking it's super simple super nice and i love this shift by wire transmission also you can see here inside the end line it's already different this center console if we have the end line here logo and the colors are different the car come with this panoramic glass roof by the way that it's 1500 totally recommended it's beautiful uh, and also it comes with this end line uh, seats those are special for end line models it's a leather combination with alcantara ventilated and also heated seats they are phenomenal those seats sporty comfortable great 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 combination of comfort and sport but all about those details check out the other video because there you find more infos uh, the car come with aluminum pedals this is new by end line uh, also, of course, as on the other uh, version, come with different driving modes. From here, you can change it. You have three different driving modes, sport, eco, and normal, as you can see from here. Depending on which driving mode you are, the car will react accordingly. We will go through every single detail as we drive, and I will give you my feedback. Also, the new steering wheel, it's beautiful. You have the N-Line logo down here, red stitches, uh, little holes, amazing, amazing steering wheel, in my opinion, uh, great design and also it's super light yeah i think i give you all the information the only thing that's missing is the price here in switzerland at least the price of this car the basis price is forty-eight thousand seven hundred. but i guess this uh the auto starter uh in langenthal they have a discount forty five thousand nine hundred ninety. it's an amazing amazing price francs i will add the price in dollars as well so make an idea but it's a great price for for what this car can offer it's impressive also you have a small space here where you can leave your key and let me explain you a few things right here also on the mild hybrid you have this energy flow screen right there where you can see how the energy is used in the battery or battery use or engine uh, or motor it's, it's really interesting uh, the way it works also i want to show you something really cool from the features of the car so for example when you turn the the signals left or right you can see this is something unique that you don't find in other cars 
it's like blind spot view and then you can see the cameras because the car has 360 degrees camera you can see really cool in a blind spot no matter what speed you have you can see what is there on the side of the car this is one of my favorite feature uh, in a car safety feature and then here you have this button 360 degrees camera that have amazing resolution when you want to park the car when you go in reverse great resolution those camera one of the best on the market in my opinion really really clear and nice and if you go to brake press the brake going reverse right now we are in reverse and then by the way the car come with electronic handbrake auto hold look how easy it is to park the car look how nice it looks that three dimensional shape there you can park the car super super simple just like that put it in park and then right now the car it's park electronic handbrake auto hold right here really awesome systems and i like the way they uh, designed this uh, dashboard and the center console impressive also visibility around the windows it's perfect no complaining at all uh, and with those cameras it's just insanely nice now guys i want to start driving right now and i will give you the feedback in the end so don't laugh at my hair because today it's raining it's i have to cut it anyway i will drive the car in the end of the video I will give you the feedback, I will tell you also as we drive how is the suspension, the steering, how is different driving mode, uh, the visibility, comfort and the noise inside the cabin. But I already know that the noise is very good here, plenty of car pass by right now, look at this, many cars and I, you can see I can speak with you, it, it, we cannot hear so many noise from outside so that's, that's really good, they did a great job, the quality of the car it is really good also the car come with heated seats ventilated seats heated steering wheel a lot a lot of fancy features uh, comfort features safety features plenty of practicality check out the full review the other video to see how much space it's in the back anyway guys check out the other video if you are interested in all the details interior exterior let's drive it and then I will give you more infos as we drive so let's do it guys all right guys let's drive the car by the way the car come with keyless entrance you can see right here also electronic folding mirrors and then lock and unlock just by pressing this uh, small button right here let's go inside also the car come with aluminum pedals electric adjustable seats also saving position you can see how the seats go in the perfect position how it was before or how you uh, save it you can save it from here from the doors you have two buttons also if you want to find out more about these details check out the other video guys there you find in the full review all the information about the car let me put the seat belt also the seats are super wide and nice and very comfortable i drive the car before and it's incredible comfortable on those seats and also you have this side support that hold you really really well press the brake press the start engine button also something that i noticed is that the engine it's very very silent it's incredible silent right now the engine it start this 1.6 liter tgdi uh, petrol engine it's incredible silent first of all i want to tell you that you can change different driving modes first of all we will drive in eco mode i will give you my feedback and then we will start in a normal mode in sport mode and we will go through every single uh, driving modes now it's very simple the car come with electronic handbrake auto hold as well this shift by wire transmission seven speed gearbox dct uh, transmission and as we go uh, i will give you more information about the car press the brake press the driving button and right now uh, we are in drive it is incredible silent this is the first impression uh, when i start the car very silent the visibility is very good uh, on the window so i have an amazing amazing visibility in these big mirrors also you have blind spot technology there and if the blind spot technology is not enough you have this blind spot right here in the cockpit that i that i did show you uh, before also i like the visibility in the front the dashboard it's pretty flat and i have a great great visibility now even in small spaces you can control the car very very easy even over those little bumps here it feels quite comfortable let's take this bump as well to see how it feels yeah it feels quite good in echo mode now in echo the steering wheel it's incredible soft and easy to drive so it's not uh it's not hard uh to to maneuver 
but we will see also we will try the sport mode uh, as well a little bit later let's turn on also the climatic system the gearbox it's incredible incredible silent i like it very much i like how how easy is changing the the, the gears also the brakes and the pedals are, are very smooth i like them very much Also, in, what I noticed before also in the normal Tucson is that the sound inside the cabin, it's incredible well insulated. Great sound insulation. You cannot hear so, so many noise from, from, from outside. And that's a good thing. Also here we have some kind of bumps, the train rails. Yes, super comfy, super nice. I like it. It's smooth and nice. You have a tall driving position, very, very nice. Also from here, you can control and adjust the cruise control. It's super simple. I like the fact that it's here on the steering wheel, so you can control it very simple. Also the car come with lane assist, kind of an autopilot. You can see right now the car will try to keep in lane between the lanes it's kind of level 2 autopilot i tried this uh, autopilot system also on the new kona and it works quite nice and but sometimes you have to pay attention on the highway it works uh, even better than than here for example when it sees the lane uh, you will don't have any problem for example right now when you have the lanes here um, it's it's kind of work quite fine but on the highway it's 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 working even even better so you can see right now here the car will stay between the lanes it's it's they improve this system even more from from the previous years and yeah uh, the, the car doing a great job it's not like a tesla but it's okay it's a great safety feature a great uh, assistant systems i should say but even so always keep the hand on the steering wheel for the safety i really recommend you that uh, for your own safety so in echo mode the acceleration is smooth also the the steering it's very very soft and assisted even the pedals are soft assisted and nice and yeah, overall it's a nice comfortable feeling uh, of driving in echo mode we will try also the other driving mode so we will see how it's how it's handling uh, so for example let's change the driving mode i like how easy it is to change the mode from here i like the buttons how easy they put it here you can access the buttons with your hands very easy you don't have to stretch out or go in some kind of menus complicated menus all you have to do is just press some buttons here very simple and and yeah everything it's simple to to change here all the settings so right now let's go in normal mode so see let's see how it's handling in normal mode so right now uh, I just changed that you can see even the cockpit colors uh, and graphics are changing there uh, in the front also we can see the consumption let's reset the consumption to see what will be the consumption at the end of this video I'm really curious about that also the acceleration it's a little bit more um, aggressive right now I can feel like the pedal it's a little bit more aggressive and the steering it's a little bit more um, a little bit more harder but still 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 quite precise I like that it's quite precise it's very very silent inside the car inside the cabin it's 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 very good even here on those curves the car stay really well and I like this steering wheel so such a good quality the steering wheel incredible good quality and even here if you try to to take those roundabouts it stays so good on the road Hyundai improved this stability control even more and the car stay very good in curves when you do left and right 
also when you turn the signals right now you can see the camera right there no matter what speed you have you ha you see the blind spot uh, right here in the in the cockpit so it's just incredible right now you can see the car it's keeping between the lanes check this out the autopilot it's on and it, it's I can feel that uh, it's still stay between the lanes for the safety I will have my hands here but yeah, it's doing quite a relatively good job it's not perfect but still still good good enough now let's go in sport mode guys let's try the sport mode the red mode uh, also uh, everywhere inside the car is this red stitches insertion that tell you it's an end line it's a special end line model I will also deactivate this autopilot so I will take control uh, completely because I feel the feedback in my steering wheel uh, while this is on oh yes I can already feel like the, the car is trying to to go a little bit higher with the RPM with the the engine so it will give you a little bit more torque here we can try to accelerate a little bit oh yes and also the engine it's a little bit more aggressive you can hear it and also the pedals are super responsive the steering wheel it's stiffer right now I can already feel it that it's a little bit more stiffer gorgeous gorgeous I love the feeling It's not such a big huge difference between this N line and the normal version it's just a few um, elements here and there that are changes but the price if the price is the same as the normal version I totally recommend you to go with this N line because it's much more um, nicer sportier nicer elements the seats the exterior design the LED lights on the uh, blinkers on the turning signals in the back the front bumper the, the, the rear bumper more aggressive the steering wheel it's much much nicer and sportier um, and overall overall they improve a little bit also the stability and the steering I read about that before and they they said that they improve the stability on the curves the handlings uh, the driving mode they are a little bit different they are not the same as on the normal version even though they look the same and it 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 looks it seems like you the car will do the same things uh, Hyundai said it's not the same so the 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 settings of the different driving modes echo normal and sport mode are a little bit different setup so the settings is different anyway let's accelerate again oh yes very good the gearbox this DCT 7-speed gearbox is very good you have a great feedback from it also on the steering you have a great feedback so overall I like it I like what they did with the, with the car also the pedals feel very smooth and nice great visibility from from this uh, angle from this driving position it's great that you can adjust the the seats and the steering wheel in every position you want uh, you can adjust them both and you will have a great great position of driving also even here on those curves in sport mode it's doing such a good job it stays so good on the road I love it and even on the yes I already can feel a little bit of sportiness in in the direction and it's it's very responsive the steering wheel it's very um, direct 
there's nobody behind so we can actually try an acceleration right here we brake and then oh yes quite nice quite nice it's not a super sporty car don't expect to be something crazy but still you can have some fun with the car uh, if you want to so impressive I like it you can see in blind spot technology I like also the brakes are great you can see also in this um, on the screen when you when you turn on the blinkers you can see it right there uh, what is behind even though if you go in reverse right now going in reverse you can park the car very very easily right here just like that very simple you have this 360 degrees uh, parking and you can park it super super simple here it's really great system anyway love the car guys what can i say it's just impressive impressive they did a, they did a great job with the car and yeah i'm i'm still a big fan of of this uh tucson so easy to park and maneuver in, in small spaces because it's um you have these systems you have parking sensors you have everything you need here uh, in order to park your car um, even in tight spaces and small spaces like this one here and you have a good good very good visibility here anyway super nice parking electronic handbrake stop the car and that was the video guys i hope you enjoy it i hope you get some useful information from it i will try to do next time uh, another video uh, as soon as i can with the car and then you you will see more information about the car uh, we will try to test also the the consumption and all other information like that but i hope you will find it useful thank you for watching my video guys don't forget to like share subscribe uh, also, if you want to find out more information about the car, you have in the description all the information uh, about the car. Also, if you want to buy it, you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out the link in the description. Thank you for watching, stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.